is 38th in the in this common league season. But wow, I'm looking forward to see a massive game this weekend. And the way I saw how everything was play, played out here from game week one, so it until now was on unbelievable. It was good to see that my team reached this far and lost to West Ham United and now we are in the hunt of challenging for the Premier League title alongside West Ham. It is my club Liverpool, West Ham, Chelsea and Manchester City title contenders for the Premier League. Wow, this is wonderful to see it's to see good 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 passion of players that played well in the in the Premier League as well. So it's looking good to hear that they finally have a good victory as well. And wow, it's so good to see big teams play well winning games after games that oh my gosh Arsenal played well coming out of relegation zone up into the top six that is what you that is what teams are for that is what you support the club this is what when you want to do this is what you want to pack your team to pack your players in a similar row they are backed up by the Arsenal fans. Score look at this man. He's scoring goals like nothing else. And him and Saka combination is working 100 percent And this is wow, this is wonderful, my particular player. And the player team like a big team like Southampton that the same we don't know their names. We don't know best regard and then you're going to have a big Task in hand at your own yard at Emirates this weekend, and it's going to be nothing else but a shot at it. You need to go into the top four. You need to beat the big teams, the big clubs that in the that is at the top, like my club, Liverpool, City, Chelsea, West Ham. You need to do that, and then you have a chance of. Win yourself. You want it as you win yourself in the Champions League. You have to beat the big teams, and that you have to do. So now I saw the guys beat Burnley and do this Rams being absolutely fantastic goalkeeper keeping. You see him his make his debut against Norwich, making big save. Playing against Burnley, making big save. Playing against Leicester City, making big saves. Against Spurs, he comes up big with big saves. Against my club Liverpool, he come with some big save, save by him. We keep money out from scoring. We keep Salah, and that is how Arsenal need to do. If you guys want to ch challenge, up. well, if you guys want to challenge for the Premier League, then you guys, you guys can challenge. But you guys have to be the big, be the big teams to challenge for that opportunity, and that is what the Premier League is for: challenging for the Premier League title. And you know you guys want to win that money title, but you guys got to be the big teams that is in front of you at this moment. Man City is the current champion. You guys got to be Man City. You know Pep Guardiola and Mikel Arteta familiar with each other, but you guys got to be Man City if you want to challenge as well because it's going to be a tough task. You got to look here, look now. West Ham United is in fourth and they're challenging with the big teams at the top. Like uh, Liverpool, City, Chelsea, and this is this is what Arsenal got to do. If you guys want to challenge, are uh, about this is all about compete competition in the Premier League. It's good. It's going to be a massive showdown. You guys make big signing of Tavares, Ben White, Tamiyasu, Ramsdale, and those kind of players. You see, you guys have. Uh, I'm confident you, are, you guys have to leave your club, pack your team, and then you find yourself victorious. No doubt. 
it's going to be a real um, it, will, it will be a big walk in the park we're playing at home not at St. Mary's man we're playing at home in Georgia the home fans the players have to play their part the combination people you know see me they will answer that needs to continue and this way is how it's going to continue is what is by playing together playing 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 with each other this is how we're going to start to say okay how we're going to how we're going to um beat southampton you need saka you need Emil smith row these two players two english players will have to put their best in the game shea adams adam armstrong see Brojo. So these players for Southampton is very well equipped. Alex McCarthy is a goalkeeper that always love to make saves for Southampton. But you guys need to pick up a big victory. If you guys want to win the game, you see, if you guys want to win a big match like that, you guys got to play your part, come out victorious, and Beat Southampton. That's going to be the, the easiest, the easiest way you guys are going to do that. You see, by winning away at home, by defeating your opponent that is in front of you right now. Southampton is a team that is standing right here. Beat Southampton. That's going to be the that's going to be the easiest, the easiest way of you beating a team. Like so, damn that. And yeah, you got smashed by my club Liverpool, four goals to nil. You get smashed by Pep Guardiola, five goals to nil. And yeah, you Chelsea beat you guys. You guys are good club. You guys have good players. The youngsters got to evolve with the likes of Aubameyang, Lacazette, Saka, and Emil Simit Rome. You know, you guys have big signing up. In white Tavares coming out there, you're new, right? Ramsdale is Ramsdale get relegated twice with Bermont and Sheffield United. And look what happened right now. Look, what happened? Eh? You guys, because of the combination of these two players, that's the reason why you guys are in the top six. Good, you guys need to go into the top four. Hopefully, that Burley beat. West Ham this weekend, but it's gonna be a task. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough tough game, you know. And it's gonna be a incredible match up. And you guys are a good club. That dog. You have a good manager, man, in Mikel Arteta. So if you guys if you guys play absolutely good against Arteta team, it's gonna be a massive showdown because you guys have good players that will get the ball in the back of the net. Brentford versus Watford at Brentford County Stadium. This will be interesting between Brentford and Watford. It's going to be a massive show game, showdown because these two teams have to play their part. Because Brentford is a team that from the beginning of the tournament in August, they defeated Arsenal. They play like nothing. They draw with us 3 3 at Brentford County Stadium. They play well, even two. Is in goal scoring for now, so that is going to be a big massive between Brentford and Watford. Claudio Ranieri is going to be a massive, massive game, no doubt. So, I'm going for a big, big 3 0 win for Brentford over Watford. Hopefully, Pinos will score and Weezer also will score as well for. Brentford against this Watford team. It's gonna be a big big miss. Now we know that Dave Renier 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 is out injured for Brentford at this moment, but it's gonna be a clinical task for Brentford against Watford at Brentford come to Stadium. Crystal Palace versus Everton. This will be an interesting game this um between Patrick Vera and the Everton manager. Indeed, so it's gonna be a ma big massive game. I'm going for a 3 0 win for Crystal Palace. The way Ben Tick is in form, 
AU and Zaha, they need to step up for Crystal Palace against Everton. Brighton versus Spurs. I'm going for a Spurs win. Son Young Min needs to score. Kane needs to so score. And also, Luca Mora, the Brazilian, has tied his boots. Fine has tied his goal score with him. So I'm going for a big win for Spurs over Brighton. Leicester versus Newcastle United. It will be a big matchup at the Key Post. I'm going for a big win for Newcastle. For Leicester City over Newcastle United. Two goals to nil. Burnley versus West Ham. It's going to be big interesting. You see where, where, where Burnley is at right now on the points scale. And look where West Ham is. They're in fourth. West Ham United is in fourth at this moment in the Premier League. They're in the top four. If they beat Burnley this weekend, hopefully that Chelsea drop points against you know the Chelsea not gonna lose those games. Leeds is out. Leeds cannot defend because only one player know that can defend for Leeds and that is Calvin Phillips. But that would be interesting at the Stamford Bridge. But before I go to Chelsea and Leeds, I was saying about Burnley and West Ham. It's gonna be a big match between Burnley and West Ham. Ashley Barnes between Chris Wood and those guys will be a big, big dangerous player for Dave Moyes from West Ham. But they have Fabaski, they have they have Pablo Fernandez, they have Ben Ramo, they have Mikel Antonio, but it will be a big interesting match at Turf Moor. But I'm going for a big win for West Ham United. Two goals to nil, Antonio to score, and also Pablo Fernandez. Norwich versus Man United. Oh my god, this is so. This is actually this match will be interesting. Game. They're having a game at Carrow Road. It's going to be interesting. It's not going to be great for you have a team against a big, big, big Man United squad that has likes of Ronaldo, Jadon Sancho, Fred, Scott McTominay, Harry Maguire, Raphael Baran, Juan Basaka, Luke Shaw, David Villa, and those guys is going to be a walk in the park for this Man United team. I'm going for a 3 0 win for Manchester United. Chelsea versus Leeds. It's going to be a big match matchup at Stamford Bridge between Thomas Tuchel and Bielsa. So it, it will be looking good. So I'm going for a big win for Chelsea. Three goals to near. Ram Lukaku, Timo Werner, my German, and also Kai Havertz as a, my other German to score against Leeds. Man City versus Wolves. This will be held at the Etihad Stadium. Between it will be big, big match between Pep Guardiola, Pep Guardiola and Bruno Large indeed. Pep Guardiola is in is keeping him in fine form now. They beat Watford at Vicarage Road and Bruno Large lost to us at Molyneux. One goes to the late winner, Curse of Divo Origi, super sub by Jurgen Klopp. It's gonna be a big matchup at the ET. I'm going for a 3 0 win for Manchester City. Arsenal versus Southampton. I was saying about these two players. Saka and Emil Simitro. If they play well against Southampton, Southampton would be in trouble between at the Emirates. If these two players, but if Emil Simitro don't be not inform someone have to step up for Arsenal against this, this Saints team. Because it, it will be a big crossing game at the Emirates Stadium. Not least and not last, my club Liverpool taking on Aston Villa. Yes, welcome back home, Stevie G. After we have him back, Steven Gerrard back at Anfield, at Merseyside, at Liverpool with his new team, Aston Villa. We know what happened last year at Villa Park. We get smashed by seven goals to two, and we we get rede we get redemption on them at our yard, beating them at Anfield. And it will, it will be a good game for us at home, starting off the, the new season of the 2021-2022 Premier League to, against Aston Villa, the team that we get familiar with. And also they have the new club, Jack Greenish, but he's at Man City. And they have Holly Watkins, they have Leon Bailey, and they have Bondia. But this, this Aston Villa team is going to be a big threat to us at Anfield, at Mercer this weekend. But I'm going for a 3 0 win for my club Liverpool over Aston Villa. In goal, Allison, Trent Alexander Arnold, Virgil van Dijk, Matip, Bravo, Thiago Alcantara, Fabinho, Jared Henderson, Sadio Man, Diego Shatter, and 
Mohamed Salah. So I'm looking forward to this big matchup, my girl. So I'm looking forward to this incredible game at our yard, no doubt. So it's gonna be a cracking game. And yeah, so we have a good, we have a good, we have a good, we have a good, so we have a good team, no doubt. So we have a good squad. So if we play well this weekend, it's gonna be a big matchup because EBG is it's an excellent manager and no doubt and he's he will he will do his best out there against us this weekend at Anfield this Saturday. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button up there in your Liverpool. Thanks for watching so guys see peace out. Come on here guys. I'll back on Saturday for Liverpool versus Aston Villa match reaction.